here's a little video. That's Hooch. You can see the eyebrows. See those eyebrows? Let's see if I can get the light on them. There you go. See those eyebrows above his eyes? Uh, goshawks have that. And he's a he is a, a, a juvenile. And that's why he has kind of the mottled grain, uh, white and brown look to him. When he's an adult, he'll be the typical really white eyebrow, slate blue on his back, and and blue all over his chest. Here's what his feet look like. You can kind of see that talon right there. That's what he grabs the food with. Ha huh, hooch. Yeah, you're just figuring stuff out, aren't you? Do you see the phone? I have the screen facing towards me so I can see what uh, the camera is recording. This is how we do a little bit of the manning. He's, right now he's kind of staring at me. So I'm going to try to not look him in the eye. I'm going to kind of look away from him until he calms down a little bit. He just got done baiting. So he's a little panting and staring at me just kind of trying to figure out what's going on. So we're just going to get him used to being touched and handled. Yes, like I'm not trying to look him in the eye. I'm trying to look down and away. Have the Jesses cinched up a little tight. He's never tried to foot me. Um, he's uh, just been scared mostly. So um, I... Uh, I haven't had to worry about that yet. So what we're doing is just getting them used to being touched. And it's important to touch them on the tail because I'm going to put a tail mount on them. And the tail mount will carry a transmitter and uh, that way I can track them if he flew off or something like that. So we're just kind of touching them all over, getting used to it. up on that. His beak could could leave a mark, maybe draw blood, but on these hawks, ex excipiters, the power in their feet. So by choking up on these jesses here, it, uh, it prevents that from happening. Now I'm just kind of watching his reactions. Yeah, you're doing good, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, it's not so bad, is it, Hooch? And the reason we desensitize them to touching, because in the field we might have to work with their their body and stuff. Um, uh, it's important that they're they're not skittish. It's uh, just getting them used to being touched all over. Left his wing, touch his tail. This morning was the first time that he took food. I used a glove, put a glove in my hand. I took some food, kind of. He wouldn't even bite me. I was trying to get him to open his mouth and finally I managed to poke a, a couple of pieces into his mouth and he swallowed it and he was like, hey, that's pretty good. And then uh, within a few bites, he was taking it off of my fingers. And uh, that just kind of associates me with food and lets him know that he can trust me. I'm not trying to kill him. So we're just kind of touching his wings, stroking him, messing with his tail, messing with his back. He's learning that I'm not here to hurt him. And we're going to get a little brave. I'm going to go in on the feet, touch a toe. They're really fast. He could dart that foot up and foot me if he wanted to, but like I said, in five days, uh, he hasn't tried to bite me or foot me once. He's just mostly been scared and trying to figure out what the drill is. And I'm just letting him know that I'm not here to hurt him. So now, after five days, I'll glance at him once in a while, but I won't stare him in the eyes even yet. Um, after he gets used to me, they lose that fear of being stared at in the eyes. But uh, for, the, for the first little while, it's important that you don't stare him in the eyes and make him feel 
think you're about. Because that's a, what a predator would do and stare at them like, I'm going to eat you. So that's what we do. Okay, hooch. That was good. He didn't even bait once that time. Baiting's when they jump off your hand and flap around. His mouth, his beak isn't open. He's not panting. That's a good sign. Um, he's still watching me. He's still not sure. He really has a, a quite a, a good temperament for a goshawk. I, I gotta admit, uh, I've seen some goshawks <laughs> that uh, will just as soon grab you. But uh, so far, I don't know if it's just that he's still scared and so fear is his first response and not aggression, but uh, we'll see see how it goes as uh, time wears on. Um, it was really important to get him to eat. I actually gave him a live quail day before yesterday uh, because you don't want their weight to crash because they can develop a, a fungal infection in their lung called aspers is the, the, the short name of uh, aspers and uh, it will kill them. It gets these fungal growths in their lungs. So uh, keeping their weight up when they're under stress is important. 